Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable Gmail label and email sharing. So this way, if you apply a certain label to uh, emails in Gmail, you'll be able to automatically share those emails with other users. That way it'll show up in their inbox as well. So it's good for collaboration. That way you don't have to uh, forward these emails. You could just you know apply a label, then they'll automatically go to the other account. So it's just an extension you uh, install, just like anything else. And they have some pricing here. So for the basic type, you know, for one user, it's free. And you get these features. But if you want uh, unlimited sharing for Google Workspace or Google Workspace admin integration or support, you'll need to do the uh, premium type. So I already have it installed in this account here. And you'll see you have an icon for it here. So you can either click on here, make a new label, share an existing label. Or you could go right to the label itself and share the label. Uh, one other thing I'll mention too, this is by CloudHQ. You might have to make a free CloudHQ account uh, to use this. And when you do, it's kind of cool because you'll have this guy up here. And then you can manage all your apps in one location. And then install all their other tools too from the same place. So that's pretty cool. And it's free, like I said. Okay, so back to the sharing. So let's do this marketing folder here. I guess you can see this one I already have shared because it has this double icon here. So we're going to share label. And then we'll share it with Cindy. And if you check this box here, it'll share um, just individual emails. But if you leave it unchecked, then, you know, replies and forwards and that kind of stuff will show up. So you probably want to leave it unchecked. And then members of the share will see their uh, new shared emails in their inbox because you want that too. So I'll click on share. And then we'll go over to Cindy's account here. Okay, so Todd invited you to share the label marketing. Accept it. So marketing is now available in your Gmail, and it's going to want you to install the same uh, extension too, but you don't have to unless you want to, unless you, you know, if you want to share with others, you could install it and then do it from this account too. So now let's go back to the Gmail here. So now you can see we have this marketing folder that showed up. So let's go back to the source guy here and apply some labels to some emails here. Let's just say this guy... This guy. Okay, we'll apply these to marketing. Now you can see we have them in our marketing folder here, plus some other ones. And we have a little shared icon here. So if we go back to Cindy, who accepted our share. Okay, so we'll go to this marketing folder here. Now you can see that these emails are coming in. Um, if there's a lot of them, they'll have to trickle in slowly here. So you can see we have uh, many of them here, but not all of them yet, because we're missing the ones that we just did for Night Cafe Studio. So we'll have to we'll wait a couple minutes here and make sure they come in. Okay, so you can see they're actually starting to come in now. So what I'm going to do now is go offline here and send an email uh, to Todd, the original share of that label. So that way he could actually reply back and forth and then we'll see if the replies show up in Cindy's inbox. All right, so I will be right back. Okay, so we have our email here. So we're gonna apply this to our marketing. And then we'll see if it uh, shows up in Cindy's inbox here. Hopefully you're following along, not getting lost. Okay, so there's the uh, first one with hi. So let's go back and reply from Todd here. Okay, so let's go back to Cindy and see if she gets the updated email in her shared folder here. Okay, so now you can see the reply here. So you can see that Cindy got the update. So what's happening here, just to summarize, so Todd shared his uh, marketing label here with Cindy, and then Cindy 
is receiving every, any email that goes to Todd that he labels as marketing. Cindy's getting a copy of in her marketing folder here. And then anytime Todd replies to one of these emails or somebody replies to him about the same email that's marked with the marketing tag or label, I should say, then Cindy will also get these updates in her folder. So it's a good way to kind of keep, you know, make sure somebody's getting all the uh, emails that you're getting on a specific label so you don't have to forward, forward it to them and they'll be able to see it, you know, in case you're unable to forward it to them, you know, if you weren't using something like this. Okay, so let's go back over here. So I will put a link in the description uh, for this extension. And when you do sign up for it, uh, you're going to have to, you know, give it permission to access your Google account, emails, that type of thing. And like I said, you might have to sign up for the uh, Cloud HQ account, which is free to do and, you know, you might like it anyways. All right, so give that a shot and see how it works for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.